Okey, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat sejahtera. So, uh, we will continue discuss tutorial number 8. So, the question us figure to show a Balmer series of hydrogen emission. Okay, so you have to state the transition that produce the red, cyan and the violet line. Okay, so the keyword is Balmer series. So we know that Balmer series is occurs when the electron fall to n equal to 2. Alright, so as I mentioned previously, let's see. We have this transition. This transition required less energy. So therefore, the lambda will be highest. So, this means for the Balmer series, it fall to n equal to 2. And this is the first line, meaning that n equal to 3 fall to n equal to 2. This is n equal to 4 fall to n equal to 2. This is n equal to 5 fall to n equal to 2 and so on right so how to state the transition that will produce the red cyan and violet line so we can answer this question like this for the red line it is a transition from n equal to 3 to n equal to 2 for the cyan it is a transition from n equal to 4 to n equal to 2 and for violet is a transition from n equal to 5 to n equal to 2. Alright? So, this is how we answer question A. And then, question B, calculate the energy and the wavelength in nanometer correspond to each line. So, in this case, you can calculate either one. Either you can calculate the energy first once you get the energy, you can determine the wavelength or you can calculate the wavelength first. Once you get the wavelength, you can calculate the energy. So, I will give an example for the first one. For the red line, for example, which is the transition from n equal to 3 to n equal to 2. Okay. So, I calculate the energy first. Rh 1 over n initial squared, 1 over n final squared. The value for Rh is 2.18, 10 to the power of negative 18 joule. The initial is 1 over 3 squared, minus 1 over 2 squared. The value of energy that you get is negative 3.03 10 to the power of negative 19 joule. Okay, so this is how we calculate the energy for the transition that produce a red line in Balmer series. And then how to calculate or how to determine the wavelength based on the delta E. So remember we have another formula that relate the energy and the so we, maybe we can apply this formula delta E is equal to hc over lambda so lambda is equal to hc over delta E sorry sorry hc over delta E. So, H is a Planck constant 6.63 10 to the power of negative 34 I think, times 3 10 to the power of 8 divided by so you only take the value ok so get 6.56 10 to the power of negative 7 meter 
how to convert it to nanometer so 1 2 so can you see this so it will become 6 5 6 nanometer this is the answer in nanometer so same goes to the cyan and violet so maybe we can try to calculate for cyan oops sorry so i will give the answer for the rest of it so for oops what happened to my oh okay right so this is the working and the answer for red so now i will give you the answer then you can try to solve it on your own for cyan the delta e is negative 4.088 10 to the power of negative 19 joule and the lambda is 486.5 nanometer while for violet the delta E is negative 4.58 10 to the power of negative 19 joule while the lambda is 434.5 nanometer so you can copy the answer then you can try on your own and you check the answer with the answer that I give you this is for cyan and this is for violet alright ok so next question so state the transition that produce a wavelength 377 nanometer so please correct your question 378 to 377 nanometer alright so we want to identify the transition transition mean from n equal to berapa ke berapa lah maksudnya alright so how to determine this we still talking about Balmer series which is n equal to 2 so since we are given the wavelength so we will apply the formula that involves wavelength alright so the formula is 1 over lambda is equal to rh 1 over n1 squared minus 1 over n2 squared n1 should be less than n2 this is the general formula for driver question that involves lambda ok so 1 over 377 you are given in nanometer and this formula required the value in meter so 10 to the power of negative 9 1.097 10 to the power of 7 meter ok since this is a Balmer series so the lowest energy level is n equal to 2 and the highest is we are going to determine it ok so this is the general formula eh, sorry when we insert the value eh. alright so 1 divided by 377 exponent negative 9 become ok now I bring this value I divide it divide by 1.097 exponent 7 so you will get 0 0.2412 ok so 1 divided by 4 is 0 0.25 minus 1 over n2 squared ok so now you can bring this value here 0 0.2412 minus 0 0.25 you will get negative yep, 0 0.2412 minus 0 0.25 you will get negative 8.8 .8, 10 to the power of negative 5 negative 3 sorry negative 3 So equal to negative one point n two squared. So since negative negative, you can cancel off. Then you can bring n two squared here. One over eight point eight ten to the power of negative three. So. 
n2 is the square root of 113.64 which is 10.67 so since n is a whole number so you can round off it to 11 then you can state the transition the transition is between n equal to 11 to n equal to 2 so this is the final answer so that's all thank you very much